Hi, welcome to Crafting with Cora. Today I want to show you how to upload an image and what happens when you upload it in Print and Cut and how you convert it back to just a cut image. So I'm going to open up my design space, click on my upload, go upload image, and then here you have the option to drag and drop or you can browse. So I'm going to browse on the left side here. It might look a little bit different on your computer, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to see my Mickey Mouse file here and I click open. I always select moderately complex. I click continue. Now this option here gives you an eraser. So if I didn't want Mickey Mouse to have a tail, I could erase his tail. And you can always undo a change that you've made. So this is kind of to take out the parts of the image that you don't like. So when you go to save your image, it's giving you two options. So you're going to save as a print then cut image, or you can save as a cut image. So I'm going to save as a print and cut, so it has all the details. And I'm going to click save. Don't forget to name your image here. Makes it a lot easier to find once you've uploaded several images. I click on my image, and I want to insert it on my design space. But as I'm stretching it out, I'm finding that it's a little bit blurry. So I decide that I want to change it to just a cut file because I just want the outline of it. I don't actually need all the detail that's inside. So in order to do that, you go on the right hand side here where you see your image. You can see that there's a little printer. So once you click on the printer, this menu bar appears. So I'm going to change it to a cut file. And then you can change the color of it. So if I want a black silhouette of Mickey Mouse, you can see the black silhouette there. As you can see, all the shape is still there from the last image. There's just no details in the image itself. So that way I can take my image and stretch it out a lot more and there's no blur to it since it's a silhouette. So just remember, if ever you upload a file accidentally as a print and cut and you want to convert it to a cut, you can just click on the little icon here and you can change it to whatever method of cutting or writing that you want. That's it with Crafting with Cora. Thanks for watching our video. Happy crafting!